Hi, welcome to Anchored. I'm Claire Landon. And I'm Sarah Landon. And this week we are reflecting on Matthew 7, 1 through 6. Verses 3 and 4 say, Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take that speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye? Okay, so this passage is about judging people. First off, what does it actually mean to judge someone? Are we not allowed to see what's right and wrong in the world? No, I think it's more like we shouldn't be looking at other people and condemning them for being wrong when we have our own sin to work on. Okay, that's pretty helpful. Um, when we judge someone, are we coming like a friend on the same level as they are? It's, it's more like we're better than they are above them. If we were a friend, we might notice their sin and even talk to them about it, but it would have a different feel. Instead of focusing on their identity as guilty, we focus on their identity as someone Jesus gave his life for. So how do you think judging affects your relationship with someone? I mean, if you think about it, how are they going to repent from a sin that they can't see? Maybe somebody needs to point it out. That's loving, right? Yeah, but there's a difference between helping someone and judging them. Judging doesn't walk with a person. It decides what's inside a person from an outside perspective. It sentences them and moves on instead of seeking redemption. All right. So this past week, I was in a um, small group on Tuesday, and we were talking about the armor of God and how it's meant to be done in community. Like, we don't just suit up and go alone. And it made me think about this verse and what it would look like for everyone to show up on Sunday morning with logs in their eyes. It would kind of be a disaster, right? So if I'm not supposed to take the log out of your eye, but we're all blinded by logs in our, in our eyes, what are we supposed to do about the logs? Verse 5 says to take the log out of your own eye. So before we scrutinize someone else's sin, we need to take our own sin to God. We could probably even take our sin to like someone we trust, right? The people I talk with about my failures are typically the ones who aren't afraid to see their own failures and give them to God for redemption. The ones who are open about the junk in their own eyes. So thank you for talking about judgment with me today. No problem. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.